Today I want to share with you how to make kitchery. It's a soupy porridge that's very tasty and it heals your gut and improves digestion, which is perfect for after holiday time or any time for that matter when maybe we've overeaten and our digestive system needs a rest. Hi sweet friends! I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest where I teach traditional cooking skills for making nutrient-dense foods like bone broth, ferment, sourdough, and more. So if you enjoy learning about those things, consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to click on the little notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Kitchery is considered an Ayurvedic superfood. And Ayurvedic is a traditional healing practice from India. And with all the wonderful spices that go into this porridge or soup, you can understand why this is very healing to the digestive tract. Now, depending on how much water you use when you make this, you can have it be more like a porridge and even enjoy it at breakfast time. Or if you add a little more water, you can have it more like a soup. And generally when I've seen it prepared, it is sort of a combination of the two, sort of a soupy porridge. But the secret is you want to cook this for a sufficient amount of time to make it very digestible. So the minimum amount of time that you want to cook this is going to be 30 minutes, but the longer the better. And what you're going to be looking for is that everything is very soft and tender. Now let's go over the ingredients, but you don't need to write anything down because if you open the description under this video, there'll be a link to the recipe that'll take you over to my website, Mary's Nest, same name here as the YouTube channel, and you can read the recipe online or you can print it out. Now the first thing that you're going to need is three tablespoons of ghee. And what ghee is, it's simply clarified butter. It's had the milk solids removed. But if you don't use butter and you want to be completely dairy free, then you can substitute coconut oil. Next, the spices that you're going to want are half a teaspoon of ground turmeric, half a teaspoon of ground coriander, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, and half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. And these are whole mustard seeds. Now this is a very basic recipe. You may see other recipes where they may add fennel seeds and maybe some cardamom. And you can definitely tailor this to your taste and, any, and add in anything that you like. Next, you're going to want a tablespoon of freshly grated ginger. Now, if you don't have fresh ginger, yes, you can substitute your ground powdered ginger. And you'll probably want to start with a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. You'll just want to taste it. If you're going to be using ground ginger on a regular basis, you'll want to taste it with a half a teaspoon of ground ginger uh, on your, when you make your first batch. And if you want a stronger ginger flavor, then you can increase it as you make this in future uh, batches. And then you're going to need a half a teaspoon of salt. And I've just got a fine ground sea salt here. Uh, if you're still at the very beginning of your uh, journey to a traditional foods kitchen and you haven't yet incorporated uh, sea salts into your cooking, then you can certainly use any salt that you have. But as you journey more from a processed foods kitchen to a traditional foods kitchen, uh, you can start to incorporate different types of sea salt. Next, you're going to want one cup of white rice and I have basmati rice here. And the reason we're using white rice is because it's very easy to digest. So it's very easy, obviously, on the digestive system. And so if you're in a situation where you really need to heal your digestive system uh, and you uh, just want to be able to digest your food a little easier, the white rice is, is very easy to digest. So that's why we're going to use this here. But if you want to use a whole grain, you can and substitute uh, one that is easy to digest as well, um, but you'll want to give it a good soak, uh, preferably a soak overnight. You could use a quinoa or a millet. They're relatively easy to digest. You're just going to want to soak those in advance. And then the star of the show, what you're going to need is one cup of yellow mung dal. And this is basically mung beans that have been split. 
and they're very easy to digest. And so that's why they're the star of the show for making a soupy porridge that is easy to digest. And all I've got over here is some garnish for when we serve up the kitchery. And generally uh, what's used is cilantro, but I'm not a fan of that. So I've just got some flat leaf Italian parsley. You can use either or, but cilantro is traditional. Now I'm gonna bring you over to my stove because the first thing that we're gonna do is melt our ghee and add our spices and just let them toast up a little. Now when I brought you over to my stove, I put the ghee into my pan and I let it melt. I had it between medium to medium low heat. Then once the ghee had melted, I put the cumin seeds in and I put them in first and I just let them toast up a little bit in the melted ghee. After I had let the cumin seeds cook for maybe about a minute or so, I added in the mustard seeds and just mix them in well with the cumin seeds and let them toast up a little bit as well. Once I let the cumin seeds and the mustard seeds cook for about a minute, then I started adding in my spices. I added in my turmeric and stirred that around. Then I added in my coriander, stirred that around. Then I added in my ground cumin, stirred that around until I got a nice mixture and let it all cook for about a minute or so. Then once that had cooked, I, st I went ahead and added in the ginger. And the ginger is fresh ginger and it's a little wet, so it'll make a little steam. So be careful when you do that, but it might splatter a little. And then I stirred that around, let that cook for about a minute. Now what I've done is removed my pan from the heat. And the reason that I did that was because we're going to go ahead and add in the mung dal along uh, with the rice, but we're gonna do it off the heat and we're going to mix it with our nice spice mixture. So I had given these a good rinse and basically when you rinse them, you just want them to, uh, you want the water to run clear. It gets off any dust and any little bit of extra starch that you don't really need. And I like to do this off the heat because I don't have to worry about anything burning or the rice starting to pop and become toasted because that's not really the effect uh, that we're looking for. And, but I like to do this off the heat uh, to give me time to really toss the rice and the mung beans with uh, these, the nice toasted spices. First of all, it just smells heavenly. <laughs> But I also feel that just coating everything really well before we go ahead and add in the water, and I'll tell you about that in a minute, I think it just disperses the flavor better. Uh, so that's just something that I like to do. And I think that it makes uh, for a lovely final product where the flavors are really every grain of rice, every uh, piece of the uh, mung bean doll is coated and it just makes for a very tasty uh, soupy porridge. Now we're gonna bring this back over to the stove and then we're gonna add in eight cups of water. We're going to bring this up to a boil and once we bring it up to a boil, we're gonna cover it and we're gonna turn it down to low and we're gonna let it simmer for at least 30 minutes. Now, while our kitchery is simmering, I want to mention two books to you that are excellent if you're interested in learning more about how to heal your digestion and how to make foods that are easy to digest. And these two books are The Three Season Diet and another one called Eat Wheat. And you can see I've got a lot of tabs in here. <laughs> I find very interesting things when I look through them. Uh, but they're both by a gentleman named John Dooliard. And they spend a lot of time focusing on uh, digestion, obviously, and the uh, uh, Ayurvedic uh, way of healing digestion. And as a matter of, uh, as a matter of fact, those of you who uh, may study that subject a lot will be uh, familiar with uh, Deepak Chopra, I hope I'm saying his name, the medical doctor. Uh, and he uh, talks a lot and writes a lot about the Ayurvedic uh, way of healing. And he uh, has a quote on top of the three season diet where he says, based on one of the most healing theories in the world, 
John Dooliard offers an easy, effortless, and joyful solution to weight problems and food cravings. This is a book well worth reading, and, and I agree, I just find this excellent. And the Eat Wheat book is also very interesting, especially if you've struggled with eating wheat or eating dairy. And uh, the subtitle, so to speak, is a scientific and clinically proven approach to safely bringing wheat and dairy back into your diet. And it spends a lot of time focusing on how to heal your digestion and then slowly reintroducing foods uh, that are real foods and that are properly prepared. That's really the key, that foods need to be properly prepared in order to be easily digested. And something that's very interesting about both these books is that Kitchery plays a pivotal role in each one. Uh, John Dooliard includes the recipe in both of these books and talks about how healing it is for the digestive system and how it really allows your digestive system to rest and to reset and make it easier for you going forward to eat foods that are more healthful and better overall for our bodies. Well, I let this simmer for 30 minutes and it looks wonderful. And I gave it a little taste and it's very tender. So that's perfect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the salt. When I use sea salt in recipes like this, I like to add the sea salt in after I take it off the heat to really protect all of the minerals that are naturally occurring in sea salt. And then I'm just gonna give that a stir to stir that in and we'll give this a taste. Now I wanna show you the consistency. You know, as I said, it's a soupy porridge and this is how it'll turn out if you use one cup of rice and one cup of the mung dal. So it's a very nice consistency. Almost, you know, like I said, a soupy porridge or a very a kind of a thick soup. Now I'm just gonna tear a little bit of this flat leaf Italian parsley on top. But as I said, you can definitely use cilantro and that is more traditional. Look at that, it looks lovely. Well, let's give this a taste now. It's quite hot, but... <laughs> Oh, that's so tasty. It's just simple and it feels healing and definitely something that's very tender. The rice is tender, tender, the, the dal is tender, and this is definitely gonna be easy to digest and with all of those spices, very healing, very anti-inflammatory. Well, if you would like more recipes that are healing to the digestive system and anti-inflammatory, be sure to click on this playlist over here where I show you how to make a turmeric tea and a super mineral broth and lots more recipes. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless.